for highest achievement in science, Badria Santhanam. Thank you, Mr. Chief. You're welcome, Duncan. <laughs> for most outstanding achievement in mathematics, Julio Vasquez. For exceptional artistic achievement, Tayshaun Mitchell. And last but not least, Shamit. I'm sorry to interrupt your end of the year party, Mr. Clark, but I just received a fax from the Board of Education informing me of the results of the state exam. I felt it was important to give you the scores myself. These are probably not the scores you expected. This class, this sixth grade class, tested higher than any other class. You even tested higher than the honors class. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mrs. Clark. Very impressive. <laughs> Shamika, your award was going to be for highest achievement in English, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to change that because looking at your exam scores, I now see that you achieved something that no other student in the entire district Achieved. Shemika Wallace, <clears throat> you earned perfect scores in English and math. Clark, for always being there, even when we didn't want you to be. <laughs> for inspiring us to dream big. Yes, sir, Mr. C. Yeah. Yeah. For looking like a fool when you double dutch. <laughs> <laughs> we voted you the baddest teacher in town. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Clark. Now, let's get down to some presidential learning. We'll start with George Washington straight from Mount Vernon. First president and commander in chief of the revolutionary so that he could be free. John Adams the second, Thomas Jefferson the third. When we fought for independence, we had rules for her. Saying, when it comes, I'll give you the best. We did the second, we've been doing it since. It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. 